In this lesson, we are going to learn how to debug a Docker Compose based Django web application using PyCharm. So, for this lesson, I have already created one sample web application in github.com slash jtvexpert2015 slash django underscore docker. What you can do? You can go to this URL, click this code button and copy the URL from here. Or the other way could be you download the zip file from here, extract it and import it to PyCharm. Anyways, I am going to clone this into my local system. So, I have copied the URL. I am going to PyCharm. Click on Get from VCS. Paste the URL. Click Clone. Now, before you do anything, make sure that your Docker desktop is up and running and you have a good internet connection. So, here PyCharm by default is trying to create an interpreter. Let me click OK. It may give you some fail to install packages error. Don't bother about that. Click on OK. Now, before doing anything, I want to give you an idea what this application contains. Here, inside the Django Docker sample, we have all the standard Django related files, whether it is views.py or urls.py. I'm not going into the details of the Django web application. The main thing here is the Docker file and the Docker compose file and requirements.txt as well. So if I go to requirements.txt, what I have, whatever necessary libraries I require for Django or MySQL or anything that is mentioned over here. Let me open the Docker file. Docker file is also a standard one. It has the Python image. It is creating a work directory named app. Then it is copying the requirements.txt into the proper location, running the install on top of requirements.txt, copying the entire folder, exposing this port 8000. And finally, there is a command so that the manage.py file is run. And coming to the most important file that is Docker Compose, what we have here, we have two services. One is web, another one is db. In web, we are exposing the port 8000 and we have link to the db. And in the db, what we have, we have this MySQL configured with the username, password, the port is export, the volume is mentioned. And also at the bottom, we are mentioning the volume. So, this is the rough structure. Now, the first thing I need to do here is create a remote interpreter. Go to File, Settings, go to Project colon Django Docker, select Python interpreter. There is already an existing interpreter. So, in order to avoid confusion, I'll get rid of them. So, click the drop down, go to Show All, select all of them, Control A. Click this minus icon. So those are gone now. Click OK. Now click on this settings icon. Add. Select Docker Compose. Here the Docker Compose from the project directory is selected. We need to select the service. Click on web. Click OK. Now PyCharm would do certain background tasks and it would take a while. It may take 5 minutes. It may take even up to 10 minutes. But you have to wait for this patiently. Now, PyCharm is almost done. It has configured the Python interpreter. Now, the packages are shown. Click on Apply, then OK. Still, some background tasks are there. So, we have to wait for them to complete. This also may take a while. So, please be patient. I will pause the video here and I will resume when this background tasks are complete from PyCharm end. Now, the background tasks are complete. So, what we can see over here, once it is complete, in the Docker Compose file, certain icons are appearing. These are for Docker Compose. See, this double icon beside the services is basically equivalent to Docker Compose app. If we click, it would fire Docker Compose app. And similarly for the services, these are single arrow like things. These are specific to the services. So, let me click the icon over here. Now, Docker Compose app is run and it is doing the standard things like pulling the images, extracting them and ultimately pushing them to the Docker side. We have to wait for this to finish. 
Now you can see PyCharm is doing some background task like launching skeleton generator and all. So we have to wait so that the background tasks are finished. It's reloading the generated skeletons now. Now the background task is complete. So we have the interpreter setup done. We have the docker compose command already completed. Now we need to run the code in debug mode. For that, I need to create a configuration. So click this particular drop down, select edit configuration. Click on this plus icon. Select Django server. I'm going to name this as Django underscore Docker. One important thing in host mention 0.0.0.0. .0 Click apply. Then OK. Now I need to put some breakpoints so that when I debug, I'm able to see that OK, the debugging is working. The control is stopping somewhere. It's pausing somewhere. So for that, let me go to the views.py. And here I have this index method when the default URL would be hit in the browser, the control would come here. So let me place a breakpoint here and run this in debug mode. Now from the console, I can see the application is running at port number 8000. I'm going to access that from the browser and see whether the debugging is working or not. Copying this URL, pasted it over here, press enter. Now this is just stuck. So the breakpoint might be hit. Let me go back to PyCharm. If you see over here, the breakpoint is hit. And if I resume from here in the page, this text welcome to PyCharm debugging with some exclamations would come. So let me click on resume program, go back to the browser and there we are. So using Docker Compose, now we can debug a Django web application inside the Docker environment itself. That is all for now.